morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Wacky Wednesday. Yes. We are back once again in the West Wings Academy, where everything is possible with God. Oh, you've gone all out today. Oh, I know I have. Wow! Oh my but goodness. Then, but you know what? You're you're looking great too. I know. I know. Do you think the boys and girls at home have gone wacky too? <gasps> I hope so. Um, maybe they could send in photos. Um, to the Facebook page or the email account and then we get to see how wacky they've gone at home. That would be brilliant. But you know who else might, I think must look really wacky today? Who? I think Callum must be the wackiest guy out there because oh. he got up so early to get changed. He was gone whenever I woke up and like I just haven't seen him and oh, he, he's actually not here yet. Really? Um. Yeah, like, um, do you think he's okay? Well, of course he'll be fine. He can't have gone far. We have so much planned today. He, he wouldn't want to miss it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, as you know, Keith, we are halfway through our Easter mission week. And we have been celebrating all week long, having some celebrations of our own yeah. about Easter. But some of the boys and girls who are watching have had some celebrations of their own. Really? How come? Uh -huh. We have had some birthdays this week. And that could only mean one thing. We need to give them a shout out. Oh, that sounds so good. Perfect. So, um, did you have the list? Oh, aha, I have the list. Oh, very good. Let's go. Now, we have a few birthdays. We have quite a few today. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. We'll do the scroll. So, first up, we have Isaac Sinclair. Ooh, Happy birthday Isaac. to you. Then we have his younger brother, Jared Sinclair. Ooh. Happy birthday to you. Same and once. last but not least, we have Poppy. Andrews, can we give a big clap for oh, all of our birthdays God. today? Happy birthday to you, boys and girls. I really girls. hope that you're having such a great birthday this week. And you know what? There might be some other boys and girls of out course, there. Of course, yes. So we just want to say a big happy birthday to you all. Happy birthday. I do love birthdays. Me such too. Such a great time. And in all this excitement, you've completely forgotten about Callum. Callum! <sighs> well, you, you know what? I'm going to have to go have a wee look for what? him. You just carry on doing what you're doing, no. and I'll be right back with Keith, him, okay? What? You can't leave. No, 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 no. Honestly, you're doing a great job. You've got this. Keep going, kids. See you later. Keith, Keith. <sighs> well, boys and girls, while Keith goes off to look for Callum, why don't we go to our very first station and let's see where Jess and Andrew are today. Let's go. miles away from the town hall. Have you been following it? Yeah, the whole, whole way. way. The whole way. Here, what are you listening to? Andrew, you know, VBS just came out with her new remix. Oh, it's so good. Do you want to have a listen? Oh, yeah. Here. Oh, yeah. It's like so that. good, isn't it? Here. It's games today. It is. Do you want to just stay here and just dance? Dance party. Dance party. Yeah. Woo! Now that, boys and girls, was good fun. 
captain. I couldn't find Callum anywhere. Like I looked down at games with Jess and Andrew and he just wasn't there. But he wouldn't miss out on games. Keith, I'm sure he'll turn up. He's bound to be round here somewhere. That's just... right. Wait, hey you, have you seen Callum? Why aren't you answering me? Hey, Where hey, is hey, he? Hey, 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 this is Scout. He's our Bible buddy for today. Be nice to him. You're, you're lucky the captain's here else I would have... Well, uh, Keith, yesterday we didn't get to go and see our professors in the lab. So today, we get to go over... Oh, you're right. Callum loves the lab. That must be where he is. No. Oh, that's his no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. Nope. I'm saying, why don't we all head over there and see what they've no, been up to? No, you know to. what? You get the kids ready. I'll run out. Keith. See if Callum's there. You keep Keith. going. You no, got no. this. Keith! Ugh. Right, boys and girls, why don't we get ourselves ready while Keith runs off the lab. Let's warm up our minds, give them a good warm up, get ready to go, and let's go and see our professors in the lab. Let's go. Hi everyone, I'm Baz. And I'm Daz. And welcome back to the Lab, 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 Lab. Boys and girls, it's so good of you to join us here at the West Wings Academy Lab. Here we're doing experiments and research to help cadets like Cadet Keith become world class pilots. To be the best pilot ever, you need to have the looks, the strength, and the reactions. We've come up with a whole series of experiments to test your skills and help you become the best pilot ever. Hey boys and girls, today we met the Bible buddy Scout and Scout has been teaching us that no matter what people do, trust God. You know, Baz, you need strength to be a pilot and you're lo looking pretty weak, so I think we're going to test your strength in an experiment. Hey Baz, I've made an experiment to test your strength. What is it, Daz? I want you to hold those bottles with one hand. Oh, that's easy. Come on, give us a challenge here. Okay, and hold them there for a solid minute. Here, let's see your hand there. Good man. Easy, easy. Just you stay Just so there. easy. God, God. <laughs> Well, you see, now we know how strong you are, I think we're ready for you to do your first test flight. Oh yes, I think it's time for Cadet Callum to get ready for his first trip. No, Callum, you've been preparing for this for a long time now. You seem strong, you seem prepared. Hey, professors, um, have you seen Callum? Wait, I've been looking for him all day. Okay, yes, we've got Callum here. We're just getting ready for his first trip. He, he's going on his first trip? Yeah. But, what do I mean? Can I go with him? Uh, we just thought he wouldn't quite be ready yet, Keith. What? Why does he get to go but I don't? And I've been worried sick about him all morning and he's been in here with you. So, sorry, we thought you and Captain Jordan would have been busy with Wacky Wednesday and wouldn't have noticed him. Plus, we thought you'd be happy that your friend Colin was getting to, getting to fly today. Well, I guess so. You know, we, we actually need a hand with the lift off. Maybe you can help us. Yes, that would be perfect. Okay, so if you guys take each end, and I'll get Callum secure in his seat. Are you sure about this? It, it doesn't really feel safe. This ah, oh, Callum, it'll be perfectly fine. Don't worry. Are we ready? Three, two, two one, fire! <laughs> You know what? I think today has been quite a successful day in the lab. We've proved your strength and we made Callum fly. You're right. Maybe we should get back to work and see what we can do next. Boys and girls, we'll be back again. Let's head back to Captain Jordan and Keith to see what's happening next. 
Bye! You know, I can't believe those dastardly professors took Callum. You know, I'm never letting you out of my sight again. Now, come on, Keith. He is safe. He's okay. And he even got to go on a massive travel around the world. I know. I guess. It's kind of cool that he got to fly, but... You know what? I kind of just wish the professors would make me fly already. Like, I just feel like I'm waiting around for this. But, you know, I was just kind of worried because they took Callum without asking. I know. And sometimes that can be really annoying when people act without thinking. But I did tell you he was going to be okay, but you didn't listen. I guess. I'm really sorry, Captain. That's okay. But I'm not the only person you should be apologising to. No. No. Um. Keith, now you started a fight with Scout and he didn't even do anything. So, sorry, Scout. To be honest, though, I, I kind of feel like it was best that we didn't fight because I think he might have beat me up. I think you're probably right, Keith. But the thing is, a Scout is teaching us today, just like the rest of our Bible buddies have. He has a lesson to teach us. What does Scout teach us? How to be a stupid bird? Come on now. Sorry, sorry. Scout is teaching us today that no matter what people do, Scout's gone! Okay. I guess that's actually really helpful for me today because like I know all week I've been feeling like people have been kind of holding me back from yeah. being able to fly and I often think people just want to stop me from doing what I'm meant to be doing but I guess whenever that happens I should trust God too. Yes exactly and Scout also has a bible verse to teach us that can help us remember that no matter what people do trust God. Shall okay. we try and learn it together? Uh, yeah let's do this and do you think I could try to come up with some actions again? You're one step ahead perfect I will say the verse and you think of the actions okay, okay. so but those who trust in the Lord will find new strength they will soar high on wings like eagles uh, I th I think Any ideas? I, I think I've got the actions. Okay. So if it's like those who trust. Trust, okay. Trust those who trust. In the Lord. The Lord, of course. Uh, they will find new strength, strength. so like strong. Like Big really strong, strong arms. And then I was thinking for the, the, the last bit, maybe we could do it like the song that we did at the very <gasps> yes. start. And it's like they will soar high on wings like, like eagles. eagles. Okay. And that comes from Isaiah chapter 40, well, okay, so quite a, a few. Lot. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. Okay. okay. Okay? Should we give it a go with all the actions? I, I think we could do this. Okay, boys and girls, are you ready at home? Let's go. But those who trust, trust in, in the Lord, Lord will find new strength. strength. They, they will soar high on wings like eagles. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 40, 40 verse 31. 31. Perfect. I really love that. And me too. And, and me you know, too. whenever I was out looking for Callum <gasps> earlier on, I actually already found our Bible clue. The Bible clue. So, do you think I could read it out now? Yes, let us know what it is. Let's have a listen, okay? Okay, so this one says, Sometimes friends will make you sad. Sometimes they will get you mad. Sometimes friends can let you down. But you can trust God, so do not frown. Oh. Huh. Any thoughts? I actually have no clue what that's about. I'm not too sure, but maybe we can go straight on over to story right now and hear what Sophie has to say about it today. Oh, let's go. Shall we go? Let's go, boys and girls, over to story. Hi boys and girls, Sophie here. Happy Wacky Wednesday to you all. Now, I don't know whether you have ever been hit in the face by a ball before, and I have multiple times. And this one time, I was having a big water fight with all of my friends, and this boy smashed a water balloon right into my face, and it made my eyes so sore. I was really, really annoyed at him, and I was really upset about it as well. And sometimes people can be really rubbish that way. Sometimes people can hurt us physically by maybe throwing a ball at us or maybe tripping us up. And sometimes people can actually hurt our feelings as well. Maybe they say a nasty comment to you or maybe they leave you out of a game and it can make us feel really sad. There's one person in the Bible who knows exactly what it is like to feel that sad and that guy is called Jesus. Let's find out what happened to him. One evening, Jesus and his disciples, who were like his best friends, shared a special meal together called the Last Supper. 
At the supper, Jesus told his friends that he was going to die, but he also told them that they were going to betray him and they were going to run away from him. And his friends couldn't believe that this would ever happen, especially Peter. Later on, Jesus went into the Garden of Gethsemane to pray to God. Suddenly, he was forced up off the ground by soldiers. He was arrested and he was dragged away to see the religious leaders. And you'll never guess what. One of Jesus' friends, called Judas, was the one that told the soldiers where Jesus was going to be, his own friend betraying him like that. Jesus was then dragged off to see a Roman governor called Pilate. But he didn't know what to do because lots of people told Pilate to kill Jesus and to crucify him. Jesus is then dragged off to see another governor called Herod. And Herod was absolutely horrible to Jesus. Because Jesus had claimed to be the king of the Jews, Herod made fun of him and dressed him up like a king. Now, if you were going to dress yourself up like a king, I wonder what you would wear. Maybe you would wear a lovely shiny crown like this one. Maybe you would decorate your crown with jewels. You might wear a robe. You might wear something really, really special. And what Herod did to Jesus was instead of dressing him up in a really lovely crown full of gold, he dressed him up in a crown full of thorns. How awful would that have been for Jesus? You might be wondering where Jesus' friends were in all of this. And one of Jesus' friends, Peter, was standing by a fire with some people. The people asked Peter, do you know who Jesus is? No, said Peter, I do not know who he is. Peter denied even knowing Jesus because he was scared that the people that were hurting Jesus were going to hurt him as well. Two more times, people asked Peter if he knew Jesus. And each time Peter said, no, I don't know who Jesus is. Finally, after the third time, guess what happened? Peter heard a rooster crowing, just like Jesus had said would happen. Meanwhile, Jesus was sent back to Pilate. Pilate didn't like all these people shouting to crucify Jesus, so Pilate had a plan. He brought out a bad prisoner called Barabbas and made the crowd choose whether they want to set Barabbas free or if they want to set Jesus free. Pilate thought that they would set Jesus free, but no, the crowd demanded that Barabbas would be set free and Jesus would be crucified. So Jesus was sentenced to death on the cross. In that story, Jesus was hurt by so many different people in so many different places. His friends betrayed him. He had to wear a crown of thorns. He was sentenced to death. How do you think he must have been feeling, boys and girls? I think Jesus would be feeling pretty sad. Remember earlier we were talking about being hit in the face by a ball. And it doesn't make us feel great, does it? And this story, when Jesus is getting hurt over and over again, it's almost as if he's being hit in the face by a ball over and over again. And sometimes, boys and girls, when people hurt us physically or when people hurt our feelings, we just kind of want to throw that ball back at them. We want revenge on them. We want them to feel the way that we felt when they hurt us, don't we? But in this story, Jesus doesn't take revenge at all. Instead of throwing that ball back to those people that hurt him or hurting their feelings, instead, Jesus throws his ball up to God so that God can catch it and he can help Jesus to deal with these bad issues. We are to trust in God, boys and girls. So the next time somebody hurts you by maybe calling you a name or leaving you out of a game or throwing a ball in your face, Instead of throwing that back at them and taking revenge on them, I want you to throw that problem up to God who will help you through that and will help you to actually love the people who hurt you as well. So boys and girls, remember to trust in God no matter what happens. Thank you so much for listening. Have an amazing Wednesday afternoon.
welcome back to the Imagination Station. I hope you've been having lots of fun making your craft this week. But today our craft is again going to help us remember the memory verse that we learnt earlier. And our memory verse talks about soaring high on wings like eagles. So today we're going to make an eagle. And just like the two days before, I've got two friends who are going to come in and help me. So let's have a look who's going to come in today. <gasps> it's Captain Jordan, Cadet Keith and Cadet Callum. Okay, Cadet Keith, how excited are you to be in Imagination Station today? Well, I, I'm a wee bit nervous to be here, but you know, Callum knows these things, so he's going to help me. I'm so glad to hear that. Captain Jordan, what about you? How excited are you? Oh, I'm really excited, but I think Cadet Keith has a bit of a one-up because he has a friend with him, but I hope my abilities will do me well today. Okay, well, we'll just have to wait and see. Boys and girls, are you ready to see Captain Jordan and Cadet Keith make our eagle today? So ready, steady, go! Okay, Captain Jordan and Cadet Keith, your eagles are looking so good. Give them a wee flyby so the boys and girls can see. They look so good. And boys and girls, you should also have another wee memory verse that you can just stick on your eagle somewhere so you can remember today's memory verse. And just like all the other days, please send us in a picture so we can see your finished craft. So that's all from us today. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <gasps> wow, look at that. That was so much fun. But you know what, Captain? I think mine's the best. <laughs> yeah, whatever you say. But you know what I would love, Cadet Keith? If some of the boys and girls at home who made this craft or made any other craft during the week, yeah. if they got their parents to take a photo and send it to us either on the Facebook page, on email or just comment it so we can see all the stuff that they've been making. That would be so great. <laughs> you, you know, Captain, yeah. I know today has been a wee bit stressful for me. Yeah. And I know that I was stressing you out about Callum, but... Yeah. I've really learned a lot today. Really? Yeah. And you know what? I really love the Bible point from today. <gasps> you know, that no matter what people do, trust, trust God. God! Oh, wow. And you know what, Kadeki? 
see in our story today that we learned there were so many amazing lessons in that mm -hmm. about how people can really hurt you and let you down. I know, and some of them were even his best friends. Yeah. And some of them even should have known better, like religious leaders and people in power who went against Jesus. I knew, and Jesus even still, after all of that, decided to continue to follow his father's will, yeah. and he trusted him. It's... I can't wait to hear what happens next. Of course, well, that, we're going to have to wait until tomorrow for that. But I think, even though our Bible verse today was quite long, maybe we should do it one more time through. Oh uh, yes, should we get all the boys and girls up on their feet at <gasps> yes, home we and we get. can do it as loudly as possible <gasps> and maybe we can wake up some of those parents as oh, well. Oh yes, perfect. So up on our feet and as loud as possible we are going to do our Bible verse. Are we ready? Okay. Here we go. But, but those who trust, trust in the Lord will find new strength. They, they will soar high on wings like eagles. Isaiah chapter, chapter 40, 40 verse 31. Perfect. Well done, boys and girls. You know what, Cadet Keith? We have one more thing to do. Maybe we should keep the boys and girls up on their feet. Oh, because we're going to sing a song. We have a song to do. So everyone stay up on your feet. Get yourself ready to go. And let's go over and do our song. Yes. yes. That was great. That was so much fun. I cannot wait for tomorrow, but you know what? I think me and Callum have some catching up to do yeah. about his big trip. So do you mind if I head on? Well, why don't we say goodbye to the boys and girls first? Okay, so That's boys good. and girls, thank you so much for taking part in our Wacky Wednesday and coming to the West Wings Academy. And we will see you again tomorrow for another day full of so much fun. See you then. See bye. ya, bye.